Correct installation of fasteners is key to getting lifetime performance from your metal panels, and providing you're using the right tools and following a few important guidelines, installation the right way is a straightforward but vital process. Let's start with the screw gun. Roofing fasteners are engineered to seal at the head, thread and sheet. Without knowing a few facts, choosing the wrong installation tool is an easy mistake to make. For example, a drill driver will only give you 800 revolutions per minute, which is too low to properly drill the hole. In contrast, a dry lining gun can turn at over 4000 revs, which will burn out the fastener's drill point. Impact drivers use a hammer action, great for high torque installations of anchors, but completely the wrong tool for self-drilling fasteners. In the AOT Applitech Centre today, we're using this, the Fane ASCS 6.3 cordless screw gun. There are plenty of comparable performance screw guns available both in battery and 110 volt format. They give the professional installer the ideal operating speed between 1500 and 2000 RPM needed for specially engineered roofing fasteners to create a safe and secure fix. A safe and secure fix means the correct thread engagement into the metal thickness you're installing into and the correct washer compression to create a good seal. That means setting the depth the right way and this easy to use nose piece is all the help you need. Let's say we're stitching thin sheet material. The screw gun has a retractable clutch mechanism. That means the motor will disengage the drive bit when the fastener is securely installed and the washer correctly compressed. With the nose piece attached to the gun and your chosen stitcher sitting in place, you'll need the clutch fully retracted before you can set the depth. When we're stitching thin sheet steel, the material isn't able to offer the same resistance as thicker metals. We need the EPDM seal to compress into the gap between the metal washer and the nylon head. Remember, that does not mean flattening the washer. So in this instance, we set the nose piece virtually flush with the EPDM seal. When we're fastening thicker materials, typically light to heavy section metals, the setting is adjusted to account for higher resistance. Happy with the setting? Next step is a test installation. For optimum thread engagement, the fastener needs to drill nice and straight. That means looking to maintain a 90 degree angle from all points of the compass. And that sound means the fastener is secure and the clutch has disengaged. What you're looking for is a nice compression of the EPDM without forcing the washer to be flat. When you're happy, it's time to test the seal. A constant reading tells you the seal is good. Any fluctuation or no reading at all tells you something is wrong. When you've found your optimum depth setting, you're ready to start the job. However, we would recommend that you continue to run a seal test at regular intervals. Better to pick up any fluctuation early and correct it. Here's a couple more pointers to watch out for when you're looking to achieve the right nose piece setting. Undersetting the nose piece will result in little or no compression of the washer, and that means little or no seal. Oversetting the nose piece will result in the fastener stripping out, no seal, thread engagement gone. That's because the fastener has drilled beyond optimum compression and to the point there is no material left to engage the fastener thread. Oversetting can result in the fastener stripping out. Best practice is everything in today's building industry. And as original fastener manufacturers, we're here to give you the full technical support you need.